Hey Brock, what have you got there? Phew, I have a delivery from the toy box. Ooh, nice, it's arrived. What's arrived? I won a gift voucher with a toy box and I got three toy boxes with it. Wow, congratulations. Thanks. Cool, so what's in the boxes? Well, I got two 90s slash early 2000s boxes and I got one 80s box. They contain retro toys and games and other nostalgic things like that. Nice! I want to open one! Well, I was hoping to open them, seeing as I won them. Oh, come on! I never get to open anything! Maybe you can open one another time. Sharing is caring, Dan. No. Right, I'm going to open the 90s slash 2000s ones first. Enjoy! Hey everybody, welcome to Oddpod, your number one place for nostalgia. I'm Dan and these are the 90s slash early 2000s toy boxes from the toy box. So yes, I did win these. Well, I won a gift voucher for £50 and I decided to get three different toy boxes. So I got two 90s ones and one 80s one, which I'll get to soon. But first, two 90s ones. So I have done a uh, unboxing of toy boxes before. I did an 80s one quite a while ago. I don't know if I did a 90s one. I think I might have. Um, but one thing you will notice if you did see the old ones is the design of the box. So this is obviously the 90s one because it is a PlayStation. It looks really cool. You've got the stuff at the back and everything. You've got the uh, toy box logo on the front. It just looks really cool. So yeah, I really like the new design. And also the price is better as well. So they're now $15.99 each. I'm not sure what that is in dollars. Maybe $17.99, something like that. But um, yeah, the price has gone down uh, now. So it's better price and better looking box as well. Yeah, I really do like that. It's really cool. So I might actually keep this box to put stuff in. So really like it. Yeah, so like I said, $15.99 now. So I'll go for this one first, put this one to the side. So let's have a look what's in our first 90s toy box from the toy box. And if you want to check out the um, the website yourself and get yourself one, um, the links will be in the description below. So yeah, so let's get this open and see what we've got. So first of all, we have some little leaf of veins. Thank you for your purchase. Uh, purchase direct from our website for the best deal. And thank you for the purchase. Now enjoy the nostalgia and we will we'll enjoy the nostalgia right now here we go <laughs> straight away we've got Ralph Wiggum eating paste that's really cool actually I really like that it's kind of a rubbery kind of figure uh, has it got a date on it 2005 so yeah early, yeah I keep thinking yeah it's 2018 now so that is early 2000s <laughs> but yeah little Ralph Wiggum eating paste I really do like that actually it's cool uh, next up we have Ooh, we have what I don't really recognise, but it's really cool looking. We have Guy in Cape with, like, the I think, I don't know if it's a hole in the back of his head. Oh, it's at the top of his head. So it also makes his eyes glow red. He's like a cowboy. Oh, even... Hey! <laughs> so I guess he used to have guns. But, oh, he, he does look really familiar. Like, really familiar. I don't know where, when's he from? 1994. It's Kenner. He's got a nice fabric cape as well. Really, really nice. I'll show you closer. Really nice fabric cape. And like I said, he must have had um, guns or something to show him. Nope, you're going to have to help me in the comments below. Who is this guy and what is he from? I really do recognise him though, but I do like the cool glowing red eyes. Looks really, really cool. But no, cannot remember what he's from. I really do like him though, he's awesome. Next up, uh, we'll go with some cards. Here we go, so we've got some Alqu Alquidim? Al I don't know how to pronounce that, Al Alquidim, I'm gonna go with. So we've got some cards, here we go. Yeah, it says Al Alquidim, unless I'm, <laughs> unless I'm pronouncing it wrong. Some Alquidim cards. What are these from? From 1993. Uh, I'm guessing it's some sort of role-playing game because at the back it says armor class 1, movement 15, hit dice 13. So it must be some sort of role-playing game. I've never heard of it before though. Uh, got another one there. But yeah, so not not heard of this before ever. But some pretty cool looking cards though. 
I'm guessing they all do different things, but yeah, nice artwork. Yeah, again, another... All the way through this, if there's something I'm just like... I just haven't got a clue what it is. Comments below, let me know what it is. I always read the comments. But, um... But yeah, no, don't don't recognise Alquadim, if I'm pronouncing it right. But yeah, interesting. I want to know what kind of game it is. I'm guessing it is like a role-playing Dungeons & Dragons type game. Yeah, fair enough. Next up... Uh, oh, packaging stuff going everywhere. I'll open the comic. <coughs> I presume it's a comic. So let's see what this is. It is Batman Year 3 from... Have we got a date? I don't think we have. Might might be a date, but I'll show you the front anyway. So this is Batman Year Three. Pretty cool cover, actually. Um, oh, it's got to be from the nineties because it's a nineties comic. So have we got an actual date? Nope, can't see a date anywhere. But um, but yeah, it doesn't look very nice. It looks more eighties to me. But um, still, pretty cool though. Print on. I don't know if it's faded. The actual print inside. It's kind of um, duller than I was expecting. But yeah, yeah. I can't really show you much inside. It's just it's Batman, isn't it? But yeah, Batman Year Three. I will give that a scan through some time. I do like um, Batman stuff. Seems interesting. Cool. Okay. Next up, we have. Oh, nice. We have a PlayStation game. We have Star Trek Invasion. Never even heard of this one. But yeah, Star Trek Invasion. Da, da, da. It's the 24th century. Borg vessels are rapidly approaching near space. Romulans are suddenly attacking Federation vessels. And blah, 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 blah. Yeah. All the Star Trek-y kind of stuff by Activision. It's one or two players. Cool. Well, some of you know I am collecting PlayStation games. So I haven't got this. So it's very nice to add it to the collection. So nice. Very happy with that. Always have to get a PlayStation game I haven't got. Especially in nice condition like that, it's really nice condition. Uh, have we got anything else? Oh, we have... Oh, I don't know what this is. We have a little thing. Very cracked. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what this is. We have that. Anyone shed any light on it? Uh, all the, the paint on it is all cracked off and flaking off. And it's number 15. I was thinking Monster in my pocket, but I don't know. Monster in my pocket is usually, well, not colour, not coloured in lights. Unless it's been, this is like been custom painted and it's supposed to be one colour, which is a possibility because the paint is all flaking off and it's purple underneath. So this could be a weird custom painted Monster in my pocket, but I don't recognise it as one. But yeah, comment below, let me know. Uh, do we have anything else? Usually in the 90s one, you get. Ah, I was just about to say, you get Pokemon cards. We do have Pokemon cards. And we have more of those. I won't show them. <laughs> We've got more of those Alquadin cards as well. Still don't know what it is, but yeah, let me know. Comments below. But we'll open the Pokemon cards. Let's see who we've got. Oddpod will return after this commercial break. Hello. Gotham Corner Store? Yes, we seem to be down to our last diet clue. A gentleman is on his way to pick some up. Just look for a black car. No, this black car will be rather difficult to miss. And by the way, the gentleman is usually in quite a rush. Just for the taste of it, Diet Coke. Ah, imagine the perfect video store. It would have a great selection, right? Right! Over 10,000 videos. Three evening rentals, so no rush, no hassle. Fast checkout. 24-hour quick drop return. Open late every night. Well, the perfect video store... Welcome to Blockbuster Video. ...is popping up all over the country. There's one near you. Blockbuster Video. Wow, what a difference. And now, back to Wadpod. So we have Meowth. Do you like Meowth? We have Zubat. We have Eevee. We have Ekans. We have Goop Gas Attack Trainer Card. And Meowth again. That's that one. And there is another pack of uh, 
Pokemon cards here. Let's get them out. And straight away we've got a holographic one. We have Machamp. I think I've got this somewhere already. We have the Clefairy Doll trainer card. We have Psyduck. We have Grimer. And we have the Boss's Way. I think that might be the last one. Yeah, and then back to my champ. Very cool. Don't collect Pokemon cards that much anymore. I do have a load of them, but it's always nice to get some of the old ones. I'm not really into the new ones, but that's nice to have. I think that might be it for this 90s box. Yes, it is. So I'll pop this stuff back in and we'll get straight to the next box and see what we've got in there. And again, who's this guy? So that's cool. So let's go to the next 90s box and see what we've got inside this one. So let's have a look. So again, we've got the um, thank you for your purchase stuff. Oh, straight away, I, oh, what's his name? I do recognize this, this has got to be a WWF figure. So you can see on the back, Titan Sports, yeah, it's WF 1992. Oh, what's his name? There you go. I'm sure I've had, I had this or a friend had this. But um, comments below, my mind's gone completely blank. His name's probably something really, really obvious. And I'm, just, I'm not thinking straight. Uh, where's his action feature? Doesn't seem to be a button, but you can do that. I guess you just you just flick his arms like that, I guess. But I, I, I've hardly got any of these um, old school wrestling figures. I'd love to get some more to do a video on. But yeah. Is it just called the Mountie or something? <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, right, we'll go to... Oh, looking at this, this might shed some light on the last box we had. Here, this is definitely a monster in my pocket, but as you can see, it's, it looks like it's been painted to look more like a swamp thing, like more like a monster creature, but you can see orange coming through underneath. So I think these are custom painted uh, monster in my pocket. It's quite a nice colour for that one. But I do prefer the neon colours underneath the bright colours for him. But yeah, it's not a bad colour for him. So yeah, I guess the other one was a monster in my pocket. Next up, let's open another comic. Let's see what we've got. Oh, that was a packaging falling out. We have the Phantom. This one's from... Uh, again, can't see. <laughs> we've got the Phantom. Never read uh, any Phantom stuff before. I don't know much about him really, but uh, yeah, cool. Again, normal comic book. I won't pop, won't bother showing you anything inside because it's a comic. You know what comics look like? They look like that. That's what a comic looks like. But yeah, the Phantom, pretty cool. And the back is something about Batman the Cult. Oh, yeah. Uh, right, I'll put that one there. Next up, we have something I absolutely love, and I'm really glad to see, and a big '90s thing for me. And that is Pogs. So yeah, we've got some um, Chupper Caps here as well. So we've got a nice mix of Pogs. So we've got a Chupper Cap there. And these are definitely going in. I've got a big tub of Pogs there and definitely going in there. We've got a Sonic the Hedgehog Pog from 1995 of Knuckles. Right there. Very cool. We've got a... What is this one? I don't know. A Hunchback of Notre Dame one with... It says Uggs. Esmeralda and Phoebus, whatever his name is, 12 Uggs to collect. Uggs. Well, yeah, it's just it's a Disney Pog, but I don't know why it's called an Ugg. Never heard of Uggs before. Uh, another Sonic one of Knuckles again. Looking more angry this time. Ooh, this is a cool looking one. It's just a blank one. Uh, I, did, I did like these a lot back in the day. Well, yeah, it's a cool school thing. But yeah, the ones with the, just the black back, uh, the blank backs, I should say. Really, they were really good designs and something. That's really nice. So I don't mind when it comes to Pogs. I'm I'm good with any kind. I don't just want the official ones. I like all sorts of different pogs. Got Doctor Robotnik, or what he's known as now, Doctor Eggman. Don't know why, but I prefer Robotnik. Uh, this one is a Hoffman Mint Cap. And it says Beast 1994. Okay. Whatever that is. What does that say? Cops the game. I think that says, or Caps the game. Oh, oh, Got to be Caps, doesn't it? Not Cops. And that says, G'day, mate. That's a cool one. 
I like all the artists who did all the art for the Pogs. It was so cool. Uh, this is a limited edition Pog one. Looks like it's one from the um, packets of What's It's. Because it's got the colours. Oh, it's like a samurai. Another one with a blank back. And it's some sort of ninja looking thing. Very cool. Do love my Pogs. So I will be shoving them in the Pog box that I've got. Always nice to have Pogs. Right, uh, put you back in your little bag. Uh, right, so what have we got next? We have, I can see a Ninja Turtle there. We have some Ninja Turtle cards. If I can get them open. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now, it's cool having these in the box because they are a cool 90s thing uh, from 1990. So we've got, um, these are the one of the movie stickers. We've got Raphael here. Uh, it's cool having these, but I'm going to class these as spares because I do have the complete set of these. So I might give these away sometime. Like I'm planning to do giveaways eventually. Uh, once the Patreon reaches a certain amount, then giveaways will happen and these will be part of it. So we've got Tatsu. We have Casey in action. Go Casey Jones there. We have Splinter. All chained up. We have Raphael getting attacked. That's a really good scene in the movie, that. We have... Looks like Mikey there. And yeah, back to Raphael again. Very nice. Always nice to get some Ninja Turtle cards there. Next up, got more cards. Uh, Citadel Combat Cards. I saw these in the... Um, Ashens opened a, uh, a 90s box in his, one of his last videos. And he got some of these as well. I'd never heard of them before. They basically they look like little um, little Warhammer figures. Uh, my uncle used to collect them and paint them back in the nineties. And it was like people are like taking pictures of those and they made cards out of them. I guess. And this is Manos the Hordling. Wow. Here we got. Oh God, how am I gonna? Dranak Gore Drinker. <laughs> That's a great name. Oh yeah, but they got all like stats next to them. It's kind of like a top trumps kind of thing. You got toughness, intelligence. I don't know if it is. Oh, this one's just called chaos. I don't know what that means, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, brother, brother, cut soul. Cool name. Nice designs on them. Uh, oh god, Strugen or Strugen Jaz Jazel. <laughs> cool name. And for, yeah, that's it for them. But yeah. Yeah, Citadel Combat Cards. I'll have to show my uncle these. He might remember them. If he does, I might give them to him. Because they're pretty cool. Uh, oh, I've got loads of cards in this one. Now we've got some Men in Black cards. Uh, Men in Black 2. So this would be the early 2000s, wouldn't it? 2002. So, oh, quite nice artwork on that, actually. So, um, so yeah, some Men in Black 2 cards. Got Tommy Lee Jones there. I haven't seen Men in Black 2. Ages. I haven't seen Men in Black 1 for ages, actually. It's been a long time since... I think I saw the third one a few years back, but the other ones... I might have to review them sometime, because I've not seen them for a very long time. Well, at least the first one, anyway. I do remember really, really liking it. But yeah, I can't remember what happens in number two. It's got a ripped on there. But yeah, they're pretty cool. I like them. Never seen them before. I didn't even know they did them. Uh, oh, we've got some more of them. Mormon in Black 2 cards. I think that's Johnny Knoxville in front there. So we've got another one there. Da, da, da. <laughs> Don't remember any of these scenes in the movie at all. But they are nice cards though. Very really good quality feeling as well. There we go. And last of all, that one. Pretty cool, actually. But yeah, like I said, never seen before. I wonder if they did Men in Black 1 cards. I don't remember ever seeing those either. Uh, is there anything? Oh, we've got a game. Oh, and I've got things everywhere again. I, for another console that I'm collecting for as well, I'm collecting for PlayStation 1, PS2, and Game Boy slash Game Boy Color. And we've got a PS2 game. We've got Army Men Major Malfunction. Again, really good quality, like the PS1 game. And that was previously... Five for twenty-five pound or seven ninety-nine each. 
that's really cool. I've got a few of the Army Men games on PS1. I've not played them for ages. I didn't even know there was a PS2 one, but yeah, very, very cool. And I think that is it for the 90s boxes. Yeah, that's it. So I'll put all these back. But yeah, it's really cool, especially for 15 99 Get a nice little box of nostalgia to open up and look through. And yeah, really like that. Uh, put you down there. And we'll go for the 80s box. Where is the 80s box? Okay, let's do this. 80s box. Murray, give it back. No, I want to open a box of cool retro stuff. You have all the fun. <sighs> Fine, okay, but just do it at the table so you don't drop it. I was going to do that anyway. Okay, in the next video, Murray will open the 80s box. Thank you so much for watching this one. Please like, comment, subscribe, etc. And join our pod again soon for another nostalgic trip. Bye.